corners and here we go. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about this beautiful 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLC AMG. High performance version of Mercedes uh, compact GLC luxury crossover. With the AMG treatment, this is a true performance automobile. Um, this thing is absolutely a hoot to drive. And for 2024, we see some big changes. Previously, in fact, at the time, we actually do have a 2017 version of this vehicle, 2017 GLC 43. Previously, it was equipped with a twin turbo V6, but for 2024, they've added a brand new engine. It's actually smaller, it's a four cylinder, but this four cylinder has a lot of technology. It's a two liter turbocharged four cylinder pumping out 416 horsepower. So it actually makes 30 more horsepower than the outgoing V6 it replaces. And then some cool technology it uses is it uses a 48 volt light hybrid system and an electronic uh, assist on the turbocharger, boosting uh, extra 13 horsepower from that electronic assist. And that also helps at low speeds to cover turbo lag when the turbo spools up. So you have a really responsive engine. It sounds cool too. Highly configurable. We have all these dials and knobs and stuff to program the feel of the vehicle, the steering, the sound of the exhaust. It's very tunable. And uh, the exhaust sounds great. It snaps, crackles, and pops. It uh, is quite an entertaining vehicle to drive, and it can have multiple personalities the way you program it. This one is in beautiful shape, very nice condition, at 7,736 miles. At the time of making this video, really low miles. I mean, this thing is still pretty much near new condition, so if you like the options and you like the color combination, it might be a great alternative over a brand new one that's a lot less expensive than the original new car price. In fact, we have a copy of the original build sheet on this one. Lots of uh, options on this one. The base MSRP was $64,950, but when you add in all the equipment, it balloons all the way up to uh, 81, 000, oh, sorry, $82,380, including the $1,150 delivery charge. Uh, so quite a bit of equipment on this one, and the devil's always in the details. Maybe one might seem like a better deal, but if that's a base one, and this one has all that extra equipment, that other one might not be that great of a deal in the first place. Uh, this has a beautiful shade of Manufacturer Sears Silver Mango. It was a $3,250 premium color. It is a really beautiful silver. It almost has like a matte appearance to it. Really cool. It almost looks like a really uh, high, high end custom wrap job, but it's actually a high end paint job from, right from the factory for Mercedes. Then the black leather uh, seats with red stitching was $1,620 for that. Of course, we have a lot of standard equipment. But when we go towards uh, some more optional equipment, we have a uh, driver's assistance package that was $1,950, giving you active distance assist, uh, active lane keeping assist, active distance assist with uh, ac uh, active steering assist, pre-safe impulse side, active speed limit assist, active lane change assist, extended restart and stop and go traffic, route based speed action, driver's assistance package, then we have the AMG Performance Studio Package. That was $1,950 giving you AMG Optics Package and roof rails and then the AMG Exterior Night Styling. Uh, then we have the AMG Dynamic Plus Package. That was $2,000 giving you AMG Dynamic Plus Package and red, great, uh, red brake calipers. Then we have the Pinnacle Line. Uh, that was $4,300 giving you digital light, sound personalization, uh, pre-installation for projection function for symbols, Pre-installation for projection functions for animations, head-up display, heat and noise insulation glass, enhanced ambient lighting, surround view system, guard 360 monitoring, digital light with a projection function, M-Box navigation premium, premium package, and the augmented video for navigation. <laughs> Whole lot of stuff. We're not done yet. Then we have these AMG 20-inch uh, 10-spoke wheels. This is a $200 premium for those. Uh, AMG animated LED logo projector is $310, and that's pretty much it for the big ticket features. Uh, this thing's, like I said, in beautiful shape. We have this upgraded leather interior, and after we do a little walk around, more importantly, we'll take it out for a spin and see how this thing rides and drives and how cool that exhaust sounds. Uh, big screen for the infotainment system. We have amazing parking cameras as well. Really great for your situational awareness, and you can um, pull up different camera views. Great for low speed maneuvering. Then we have a select the view by touching the display. That's pretty cool. It's almost like as a drone uh, flying around the, the car. Really great for situational awareness. With these crossover CVs with the BNC pillars and headrests, visibility can be kind of tough. So these parking cameras 
are a really big help. Really gonna make your life a lot easier uh, parking and maneuvering in a tight city environment. Beautiful uh, black piano finish. We have a big panoramic roof to allow lots of natural light inside. It opens and if it gets too bright out, then we have a power sunshade to dim things down, but luckily we're in a shady spot right here. So we'll, we'll leave that open. So we have a completely uh, digital gauge cluster and it's configurable. You can kind of pick and choose what information you want to show up. We have these controls on this side, so you can kind of navigate through the different menus and stuff and change the style of the gauges. Uh, you can kind of personalize things. You just kind of have to mess around with it, but you'll get the hang of it in no time at all. And then we have controls on the right side, which uh, allow you to access in different menus on the uh, Info, main infotainment screen. Of course, you know, there's redundancies. You can use your fingers and stuff to access that menu too. We have steering wheel paddle shifters. You can take control of the nine forward gears. Uh, we have these controls right here, which are for the drive mode selector. So we have different drive modes. Let's see what we have. We have uh, slippery, we have individual, we have comfort, sport, sport plus, and race mode. <laughs> And you can notice, notice when you get into the more aggressive uh, drive mode setting, settings, you can actually hear the exhaust kind of liven up a little bit. There's another little dial over here for the AMG Dynamics. You can, you can shut off the traction control, which I wouldn't recommend doing unless you really know what you're doing. Then you can control like the uh, Dynamics as Basic, Advanced, Pro, and Master. Uh, not exactly sure what those uh, Dynamics do, but maybe it's just the traction stability control settings, steering effort, things like that. Then we have an awesome head-up display. Uh, kind of hard to see in camera, but it projects the speed. Other important information like traffic sign recognition right up on the windshield so you don't have to look down out, off the road to see where you're going. That's very helpful. Nice, highly adjustable seats. We have uh, power seat controls that are easily visible right on the door, not on the sides like a lot of other car companies. And then we have memory settings for both the uh, front driver and the front passenger. Very comfortable, supportive seats to hold you on place during performance driving and for all day cover, comfort. I love this beautiful shade of silver. It is really an eye-catching color. You'll get looks and compliments on it wherever you go. There's that fantastic turbocharged four-cylinder engine pumping out 416 horsepower. Pretty amazing. That's uh, over 200 horsepower per liter. Uh, pretty amazing technology. You have a strut tower brace. You can see right here, this was handcrafted by Claudio. Don't know the last name. Mercedes AMG in Germany. Really cool looking alloy wheels. We have tinted windows all the way around. And don't let the pack classification fool you. It's actually a pretty, you know, decently sized vehicle. Uh, lots of space in both the front area and the rear area for passengers, even like a full size person like me, who's six foot two. I got a ton of uh, space back here. Plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom. Very comfortable for four full size adults, five in a pinch. Nice styling in the rear. Uh, we have an underbody diffuser. Nice uh, looking quad tip exhaust system. Of course, we have a power rear lift gate. Plenty of cargo space back here. You have a cargo area cover to keep things out of prying eyes. The rear seats fold down fairly flat, turning into like a little cargo van. Then you have some additional storage under here. This one does not have a spare tire package, but we do have an inflator kit. So if you do have a flat tire, that can uh, Temporary remedy that flat tire so you can get to a place to get it repaired or replaced All right, let's get behind the wheel and take this out for a spin. All right, here. We are taking this 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLC AMG 43 out for a spin All right, so let's mess around with the drive mode selector. I'm not gonna put it in race mode I think that might shut off like the traction to control system. So we'll try sport plus Looks like uh, so much adjustability on this thing I really need to take the time to read the owner's manual to see everything this can, everything this can do, all these adjustments, but we won't do, don't have time for that unfortunately today. <laughs> so I'll take it for a little quick spin around the block, see how it sounds and drives. Uh, you know, the great thing about a vehicle like this, unlike a pure sports car, being a crossover SUV, it's a practical everyday, you know, daily driver, commuter, put your kids in the back, it's a family vehicle. Uh, you put it in the regular drive mode selection and it's a relatively docile and easy vehicle to drive around town, commute in. But you put it in the Sport Plus mode and it quickly changes personality. Uh, it makes changes to the steering, throttle response, traction and stability controls. I think it also makes changes to the suspension. Uh, you can tell in like the Sport Plus mode, 
it will hold out uh, the gear changes a lot longer, let you rev the engine higher before it changes gears, which definitely encourages more sporty type driving. I love this head-up display. It's really clear and easy to read. One of the best in the business. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is really visible. Um, and it's a safe thing. It's a safety thing because the less you look down off the road onto the gauge cluster, the safer it is for you and for everyone else. Um, and you know, obviously, it's a big change going from a six-cylinder, which generally is more refined and looked upon as a better engine, versus a four-cylinder. But there are a number of reasons why Mercedes likely switched to a four-cylinder. Uh, you know, they're trying to make vehicles more fuel efficient, so with less cylinders, it's gonna uh, consume less gas, uh, but also it weighs less as well. So a uh, better weight distribution, less weight in the nose. Uh, this thing is better balanced for better handling and performance, and also weight uh, for also improves fuel efficiency as well. So the less a vehicle weighs, the less energy it takes for it to move around, uh, making it more efficient. And um, I'll have to take a look at the window sticker, but I definitely think if we take a look at the uh, uh, EPA ratings, this probably does a little bit better in gas, maybe a mile per gallon or two better than the outgoing one model with the V6. All right, I got a green light. I'm not gonna go crazy, but I'll uh, mass the throttle and see how it accelerates up to the speed limit. Not much body roll in the corners and here we go. Yeah, I love how the uh, you have a little snout crackling prop, uh, pop from the exhaust system when you downshift. There's no one behind me, so we'll test the roll on acceleration of this thing. Slow down a little bit. All right. <laughs> yeah, this thing's fun to drive. And then you have the steering wheel paddle shifter so you can take control of those nine forward gears. Very responsive. <laughs> Yeah, pretty rapid gear changes and downshifts. Uh, maybe they pipe in a little bit of fake, sometimes, sometimes they're guilty of piping in a little fake uh, music from the engine to make it sound better through the speakers and the audio system. I don't know if Mercedes is doing that, but it really sounds great. Uh, and it, it wants to start right in the corners. I love the feel of the steering wheel. You have this nice big thick rim. Uh, love that three-pointed star, a uh, trademark of luxury and German build quality. We're clear here. <laughs> Darts right around the corners too. Yeah, this thing is a lot of fun to drive. And uh, so uh, to operate the paddle shifters is pretty easy. If you want to put it in manual shift mode, you just start shifting. And uh, you know, to put it back in regular automatic mode, you just push the shifter back down into the drive. So pretty fun. A uh, quick little spin in this thing. All right, let's put it in a, the comfort mode and see how it drives. So the exhaust is quieted down a little bit. The steering is not as darty. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit, it definitely changes personalities quite a bit when you put it in comfort mode. The suspension is not as firm as it was before. So yeah, it's a vehicle, it's pretty amazing. It's just almost like a video game. You can control the feel and aggressiveness of the car, or I should say crossover SUV. <laughs> Americans were in love with crossover SUVs, uh, you know, coupes and sedans, which, you know, used to be pretty popular in our neck of the woods. They're not anywhere near as popular as they are today. Everyone wants crossover SUVs for very good reason. You have more cargo space. Generally, they have all-wheel drive traction, and you have a higher up committing view of the road. So yeah, if you're in the market for a vehicle that chucks off a lot of boxes, you want something that stirs a soul, looks beautiful, uh, gives you performance car enjoyment, but is also relatively fuel efficient, has space for you and the family, has all wheel drive, so it's great driving in the snow and wet slippery conditions. A vehicle like this GALC AMG 43, <laughs> whole lot of words, whole lot of meeting, might be the perfect one for you to consider. Thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Unfortunately, the fun's over way too soon. Got to go back to work. Thanks for joining me and have a wonderful day.